lot of people don't realize that, that KIPP and Yes Prep actually start together as one charter. Uh, and one reason for that, if you, if you rewind back in time before we even be, were charters, before we were even programs, uh, the reason for this is that Dave Lev and myself and Chris Barbic were all roommates. Um, as, as second year core members in, in Teach for America in, in Houston. Chris Barbic's nickname back then was Ghost because he was, he was never around very often. He was, he was always at his, his, his girlfriends who happened to be Natasha Kamrani, now his, his wife. Uh, so he had very good reason not, not to be there. Uh, but you know, the, the, the night that we came up with the Knowledge is Power program idea, we stayed up all night and, and played U2, Octung Baby, repeat play until five in the morning and typed up the Knowledge is Power program, which was kind of the release of our feelings of failure and frustration as teachers uh, to what could we do as fifth grade teachers to have a bigger impact on our kids' lives. The night we did that, the only reason why KIPP and YES exist as different organizations is because Ghost, AKA Chris Barbic, wasn't there that night. But uh, like a couple weeks later, Chris comes back, he's getting a drink out of the fridge, he's, he's drinking the kitchen, he looks down and there's this Knowledge is Power program proposal to Garcia Elementary and to Bash Elementary on, on, the, on the kitchen counter. And he's, like, and he's drinking his drink, he's like, what's this? And he's looking through it and he says, I should, I should do this at my school, Rusk Elementary. I'm like, you absolutely should. And so he started Youth Engaged in Service. Uh, yes, at, at Rusk Elementary. And that's how the Knowledge is Power program started. Youth engagement service started when uh, they, we, they eventually turned into both schools inside Houston ISD with the support and help of, of Dr. Rod Page, who was superintendent at the time. Um, and it was time to, with his blessing, to become uh, state open enrollment charter schools in 1998. Uh, yes, PrEP didn't have their own 51C3. Um, so we, we, were, we were slightly ahead of the ball compared to Yes, PrEP, but we were both, you know, um, it's like those MasterCard commercials go, if, if, the, if the copier worked on like Wednesdays, we were high-fiving each other. So uh, we were still way behind the ball in lots of ways, but at least Kip had a C3. Um, and so uh, Kip and Yes wrote an application together and became charter schools together in 1998. Uh, and then two years later, or two and a half years later, that's when Yes Prep got their legs under them, got their own legal status, and they became their own charter as well. And, We've been friends and cousins and brothers and sisters ever since.